Bar, which stands for Digital Lab Recording. This is where the magic happens. This is where you put all the magic to the music. Yeah. Explain that to me. Okay. Right, this is Montana taking his long ass hike with me. That's what I get for 
nice Georgia for when I'm right here. When I go to Georgia, Georgia is just the nightlife. That's like a party, you know, it's got the real swaggy, swaggy. Um, Summertime Atlanta, you know, it get hot. <laughs> yes, and the music is hot. And the music gets even hotter. Yes. And I remember being in Atlanta, like, being younger, and I would hear music down there first before I hear in North Carolina. Yes. So I'm like, what? Yeah, what's up with that? Why are we hear music last? So that was another thing that I thought was cool. Then when I was in 10th grade, I moved to California with my mom and my brothers. And it was a whole another ball game. We had Nipsey Hussle, YGs, and I moved out there in 2011. So, you know, everything was, everything was brand new to me. I was like, what is this West Coast rap? West Coast rap is just as lyrical as New York's lyrical. But they have a different type of party environment, family environment, culture. Their culture is more, you know, more laid back and freer. Yeah, but it's sunny, so everything feels like a party. So, how many albums now have you uh, produced since you started at age 11? I've had more than five. I'm going to tell you, a couple of them, my computer crashed, so I never got to release them. I had tons of music uploaded, and it was like, the computer wouldn't start on okay. virus got it. I lost all of that material. Um, what's on iTunes now is Chaos in the Mixtape, which has nine songs, and Straight Out of Carolina, which was dropped two days ago. So, um, Straight Out of Carolina, that's where I'm from. So, Straight Out of Carolina is, has nine songs as well. So, look, those are the two albums that I have. Okay. And I also have, you know, maybe four or five singles. Uh, few mixtapes. Okay, so if your fans are trying to find you on social media, how would they find you? All they have to do is go to at Chaos in Music. Um, I have a Facebook, but it's, you know, you go and like and share it, but I'm mainly on Instagram. I know Twitter is a thing, TikTok's a thing, but I'm, I'm solely on Instagram. Um, I spell music different though. Like, you spell chaosity for your fans as well. It's K A Y O S I T Y, and then music is just the pronunciation. I saw it. I wanted to be different with my username. It's M Y O O C I K. So when you, when you type in music like to to a dictionary, the pronunciation is spelled that way. Okay. So I was just like, I don't want to spell it like M U S I C. I want to spell it different. <laughs> Because you're different. Your music has a different flavor, but a very accommodating flavor, so I like that. Okay, so is there anything else you want to tell your fans about your music before we move on to the next subject? Um, I just, when, when you listen to chaos in music, you just know that there's a little bit of chaos in to what I consider my inspirational part of you. I've developed, you've developed a uh, artistic uh, phase of your life right now where you're drawing pictures, masterpieces, if I must, of different people. Do you want to explain to them what it is you're doing now with the art? Yes, so, thank you and I appreciate that. So, um, with my, my art, I started painting just in grade school, I could draw a lot, just doodling, really ignore my teacher because I already knew everything. So, um, my teacher in the third grade uh, painted a tiger, like a in safari. Okay. She took my picture, she put it in a Dixie Classic Fair, and it had a, it had a ribbon on it. Oh, it actually okay. placed a ribbon. Okay. So, um, for me, then that was just like, okay, you could draw. Right. You're, you're pretty good for, for my teacher to have taken that. Um, after that, really, I want to speed up to like maybe 2018. I was, I recently had met uh, a aunt of mine, and she's a painter as well. Her name is Jay Candice. So, she introduced me to different art galleries, different art events that I started to go to. And it inspired me. I was like, you know, this is a nice vibe. 
Uh, it's really sophisticated. I mean, it's another opportunity to network and meet people. And I knew that I could draw. So for me to do that, get my feedback out there, I was just like, yeah, this is cool. I, I probably should just paint. So I started to watch different techniques. I started to research things. My niche, my niche is people's faces. So I specialize in portraits. And I, once I figured out my lane, I went for it. So I've seen a lot of your work. Did you tell me um, your audience, what it is, or who are some of your favorite people to paint? My favorite people to paint are rappers, because I'm an artist. So I, I paint rappers a lot, like hip hop, um, the old school, the vintage, Tupac, Biggie Smalls, all the way up into the new legends that are pretty much that have left the major footprint in the industry. Um, I have two. Uh, spectacular Nipsey Hustle pieces that have sold at the Blake Ryan, and I also have um, Triple Extension, more of the younger crowd of, you know, I wouldn't say martyr, but I would say like the modern day Tupac Biggie of uh, this, this time. generation. Yeah. And then I've noticed that you've got some uh, pieces like um, Chadwick Boseman yeah. and some others. Yeah, um, Chadwick, rest in peace, the late Chadwick Boseman, he touched many, many people with his character, his morals, his talent. That to me says a lot. And, um, a picture is worth a thousand words. So to be able to just paint him and have his legacy staring back at you, it, it means more than everything to me. So anybody that had that much power and impact, for me it's impact. Like I said, like MC Hustle, he had an impact. Kobe Bryant had an impact. I had a lot, I had a lot of people like the Kobe Bryant. <laughs> too. So yeah, that, that's what I aim for. So tell people how you do your, how they can order from you uh, if they wanted a personal portrait, a family portrait or something. So I normally give out my phone, my phone information, my phone number, my email address, I give out my social media. Once you say, hey, I'm interested in you doing a piece for me, most of my customs have a set price. It takes me 24 hours to create and it's shipped to you if you're out of state. If you're close, like if you're local in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, somewhere around North Carolina vicinity, you can order it through the Blake Ryan. Okay, and tell people where the Blake Ryan is located. Uh, the Blake Ryan is in Haynes Mall, Winston-Salem. It's downstairs on, I don't know if it's the north side or the south side. It's near Friday's. Okay, so that's Gangstar. sort of south head of north. Okay, okay yeah. So. You're familiar with, okay, so it's downstairs. Upstairs is basically near Golden Corral and uh, Red Robin and Texas yes. Roadhouse. Okay, so downstairs, it's in front of McDonald's. It's okay. close okay. to the McDonald's. Okay, I'll look that Okay. All right, so is there anything else you want to share about your artistic abilities, both in music and in painting? That's, that's pretty much chaosity and choice all together. Like, when the two worlds collide, that's, that's what that's it is. Explosion, right? And an explosion of just creativity. Mm -hmm. And so we all know your biggest fan is your son. Yeah, put yeah. him here. Yeah. I take him with me everywhere. He's yeah. close. He's with my grandma now. Well, yeah, keeping her company. And in various conversations, I've heard people say, Amir is always saying, I'm going to the Blake Ryan where my mother's paintings are. Yeah. Yes, and that's great advertising. <laughs> She's excited. Yes. He's yes. excited. And pouring into him is one of the biggest motivations for me. I want to see how he is when he gets older. Do you see a lot of yourself in him? I do. Artistically, I do. with his singing, his singing, yeah. paintings. Uh, Reading and writing, his, his level, his IQ levels are, are extremely high. He's only four years old, so I'm excited. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Definitely excited. You see a lot of yourself in him. I do. <laughs>
Well, this has been very, very nice. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you for having me here. And I look so forward to everything that you've got coming out in the future. Yes, indeed. Just go to Carolina behind you. Okay. Carolina, yes. Yes, yes. 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 So I just want to say before we leave, just let everybody know about Shut Out of Carolina. It just came out. Yes. You can stream it and download it. Uh, I've had a lot of pre orders from Spotify before it came out. So, And December 3rd, I'm going to be releasing a music video. Yes. For straight out of Carolina, okay. and December 19th, I'm gonna release another music video. It's called "Who's That Girl," which is also another song that's featured on Straight Out of Carolina okay. too. So okay. <laughs> that's gonna be um, just a part of the pro project okay. as well. And your paintings now are located at the Blake Ryan. The Blake Ryan, okay. and I also have a show December 12th in Charlotte. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, folks, you heard it here first. <laughs> Come follow Miss Choice Smalls, Maya, Maya Smalls, Miss Chaos. <laughs> Chaos. She's on the move, and she's doing wonderful things. Yes, she is. Thank you for having me. Okay, I look forward to everything that you've got ready for the future. Thank you. All right. That's <laughs> <laughs> We had several people.